வெல்கம் டு தி ப்ராப்ளம் சால்விங் செஷன்ஸ் ஆன் லெஜெண்டர் லீனியர் டிஃபரென்ஷியல் equation in the first session we solved cauchy homogeneous linear differential equation here a not a1 etc an are the constants and we have x power n x power n minus 1 x power n minus 2 etc x as the variable coefficients now we are going to deal with legendar homogeneous linear differential equation what is the difference here in cauchy we have x in legendar we have x is replaced by ax plus b now you can see everywhere x is replaced by ax plus b then we get a legendar homogeneous linear differential equation now the assumption says ax plus b should be e power z so z is equal to log ax plus b let us go into the problem so first we check d square y by dx square and we have 1 plus x whole square dy by dx we have 1 plus x constant and then here also we have data in terms of this 1 plus x it is of the form legendar linear differential equation so now as usual we have to make the table so first we write this one i'm going to take 1 plus x as e power z so z equal to log 1 plus x as usual d by dx is capital d and d by d z is going to be theta next 1 plus x into capital d is simply theta because coefficient of x is going to be 1 and 1 plus x square into d square is going to be theta into theta minus 1 now we are going to substitute this in the given equation and we transform the given equation into a differential equation with constant coefficients so now i am substituting 1 plus x square d square first of all we write in our proper format 1 plus x whole square capital d square 1 plus x capital d plus 1 into y is equal to 2 sin log x plus 1 don't get panic by seeing such a big data it's going to be very easy now substituting the values you'll be getting theta into theta minus 1 theta so now it will become theta square minus theta plus theta plus 1 theta theta get cancel will be getting theta square plus 1 into y is equal to 2 sin z because from the table log 1 plus x is z so it is going to be simply 2 sin z we are going to find the cf so put theta equal to m m square plus 1 equal to 0 m equal to plus or minus i since it is cauchy or legendar the answer should be in terms of z because we are using theta so a cos z b sin z next we are going for the pi if you have sin z we have theta square equal to minus a square that is a rule so theta square is equal to minus 1 and we take dr is equal to as usual denominator therefore dr is equal to minus 1 plus 1 it will become zero so i have to multiply by z and differentiate the denominator by theta into 2 sin z now 2 2 get cancel will be having z into 1 by theta sin z there are two ways to solve the problem the first way is the first way is z into 1 by theta sin z theta means differentiation with respect to z 1 by theta means integration with respect to z so z into integral sin z dz integration of sin z is minus cos z this z already remains there so minus z cos z now we are going for the other way suppose you don't know integration or you are not confident with integration then now cancel this 2 to denominator we need theta square because it is sin cos problem so now multiply and divide by theta now denominator will become minus 1 alone so it is not going to affect the problem so i am substituting this will be getting z by minus 1 theta of sin z so theta of sin z mean differentiation of sin z it's going to be cos z so my final answer is minus z cos z now write the cf and pi a cos z plus b sin z minus z into cos z but from the table we know z is equal to log 1 plus x so we get a cos log x plus 1 plus b sin log x plus 1 minus log x plus 1 into cos log x plus 1 next let us go into another problem where we have a x plus b such that a should not be exactly 1 it is going to be more than 1 see this problem now it look like in the legendar form 
make the table 3x plus 2 is given to us let us take 3x plus 2 is equal to e power z so z is equal to log 3x plus 2 as usual d is d by dx theta is d by dz now 3x plus 2 into d is 3 theta because we know ax plus b to capital D is A theta. Similarly, AX plus B all square D square is A square into theta into the minus 1. Here A value is 3. Therefore, here we have 3 and here we have 3 square 9. 9 into theta into theta minus 1. One. Now, first we are going to deal only LHS. We are not going to bother about RHS. Substitute the LHS value and simplifying this, we will be getting 9 theta square minus 9 theta plus 9 theta minus 36 into y. 3x square plus 4x plus 1. Now, this and this will get cancelled and I will take 9 outside. We will be getting theta square minus 4 into y is equal to 3x square plus 4x plus 1. Now, just find CF. You take the left hand side, make it homogeneous and then get the CF. The roots are minus 2 plus 2. Therefore, CF is A e power 2z plus B e power minus 2z. Now, let us go to the PI. To find PI, everything in terms of z. So, it is given 3x plus 2 is equal to e power z. 3x is equal to e power z minus 2. x is equal to e power z minus 2 by 3. Now, let us take this and substitute on the right hand side. So, the problem will become z because d means it can be soluble for x. Theta means it can be soluble for z. Now, substituting x value, we get this. Now, simplifying this, a minus b whole square, e power z whole square will get, that is simply e power 2z. So, e power 2z minus 4 e power z plus 4, 1 by 3. Here, just multiply by 4. Now, taking LCM, minus 4 e power z plus 4 e power z get cancelled. Minus 8 plus 7 is minus 1. We will be getting this. Now, we have to find the PI for this function. So, I am going to split the PI into 2. PI1, PI2. This part is going to be PI1 and the second part is going to be my PI2. Now, let us take PI1. As usual, no big rule. Take this 1 by 27 to the left hand side. Let us assume dr equal to denominator, theta equal to a. For us, they give theta equal to 2. So, theta square is going to be 4. 4 minus 4, 0. So, now, multiply by z and differentiate the denominator. We will be getting 1 by 2 theta. Now, again apply the limit. 2 theta, when you apply theta equal to 2, 2 into 2, 4, that is not equal to 0. Therefore, my PI is going to be 4 into 27, 108, z into e power 2z. That is a minus, I am taking this minus outside first. We have theta square minus 4 into 1 by 27. Nothing is there, sir. It should not come under any model. You should not say like this. e power 0 is that. e power 0 is that is always going to be 1. So, I can take the problem like this. Now, when I take theta equal to a, now, right now it is 0. So, my denominator is 0 minus 4 minus 4 that is less than 0. Now, we have to calculate pi. If we substitute the pi values, we will be getting minus into minus plus 108 in the denominator. So, 1 by 108 e power 0 is that. e power 0 is that is nothing thing but simply 108. Now, PI1 plus PI2 will give you PI. Next, the general solution is going to be A e power 2z, B e power minus 2z, 1 by 108 into z e power 2z plus 1. Now, we know that e power z means 3x plus 2. e power 2z means 3x plus 2 whole square, etc, etc. Now, here, z into e power z, we should be very careful. First, write e power z or e power 2z, whatever it is given to. Then go for z value. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.